Kule Twitter kuna jamaa anaitwa Obakeng Ramabodu ambaye ni fashion designer, retail management businessman. Alishare hii hapa video ambayo inamuonesha ilikuwa ni matangazo ya CNN somewhere huko CNN Portugal ambayo inamuonesha uh, mfalme Charles akisalimiana na wananchi ambao wamekusanyika pale pembeni. Unajua katika huu msiba wa Malkia Elizabeth kulikuwa na hizo shughuli nyingi sana familia ya kifalme inapita na wasalimia watu ambao wamejikusanya katika sehemu hizi kuanzia kule Buckingham Palace Westminster Abbey na kwingine kwenye hizi sehemu muhimu kabisa za huko nchini Uingereza sehemu za kiserikali so hii hapa ni video ambayo imewekwa ambayo inamuonesha mfalme Charles akisalimiana na hao watu alafu jamaa kama andika black man you are on your own ukiangalia hii video kwa nini ina trend ni kwamba wakati mfalme Charles anapita anasalimiana na hawa watu kuna huyu Mwafrika tumeona hapo ambaye alikuwa miongoni mwa watu waliokuwa hapo huyu hapa ambaye amevaa koti hilo mfalme Charles alifika hapo ni kama vile ali mruka amepewa mkono lakini akawa akashindwa kupokea mkono wake akaishia tu kumshika kidogo hivi afa akaendelea kwa hiyo wengi wametafsiri hii video kama ni ubaguzi Ukiangalia hapa huyu jamaa ameshare hii video ilikuwa ni saa 5 na dakika 19 Juma tatu hii. Lakini uh, mpaka sasa ninapozungumza hapa imepata retweets 2024 naelekea 2025 na itaendelea zaidi. Na imetazamwa mara milioni 3.2 views milioni 3.2. So imetazamwa sana na huko chini watu na mitazamo tofauti tofauti. Sehemu nyingine ambayo imewekwa hii video ni hapa. Hii hapa ni page inaitwa The Neighborhood Talk. Hii ni ya Marekani. Wao wameandika tu hapa caption fulani hivi ambayo anaelewa mwenyewe na wengine. Now King Charles maybe it was under the Rosita costume at Sesame Palace. Okay, kaweka hizo image. So unaona hizi blue text za mastaa mbalimbali ambao wamecomment hapa ambao wana mitazamo tofauti tofauti kwa mfano unasema because why is he there? Kwamba <laughs> kwa sababu kwa nini jamaa huyu mausi yuko hapo? Oh, ndio maana wanahisi kama amekuwa snubbed. Eh, huyu anasema did he work for Sesame Street before becoming king? Mwingine anasema he was so excited to big nod. I like that for him. Yaani jamaa pamoja na kuhisi kwamba amefanywa uh, hivyo bado alikuwa na furaha yake. Tim huyu mwingine amesema, mwingine anasema stand up, kaweka emoji za kucheka. Man no shock here, forget them PPI. Okay? Pamoja na comments nyingine sana huyu anasema now why you acting like you ain't already know this? Kwa nini mnajifanya kama hamjui hiki? Marekani hiki tu ameichukua kwa uzito sana. I don't feel bad for him at all huyo mwingine amesema hivyo afu na kuweka image za kucheka. When are you gonna learn? Mtajifunza lini? Then he probably stood up there all night. Kwamba <laughs> ujamaa pengine amekaa hapa kusubiri hili jambo kwa usiku mzima. Alafu mfalme alipofika ndo hivyo mkono kama kamkaushia hivi. Huyo mwingine anasema LMAO it's the way he forced the handshake kwamba jinsi ambavyo huyu jamaa amelazimisha kushikana mikono na mfalme. I just know whoever is running the royal family PR down the gene before bed each night. They are not even trying. Now wait, that was brazy. Now he knew LOL. Why was he there anyways? He had no business being there. Yaka emoji ya kucheka. Maana kwamba hiyo ni sehemu ambayo wazungu zaidi ndio wanatakiwa wae kwa. This is why I got 10 toes for Megan. Not surprised they are just getting border with the antics. He literally stopped him from touching him. Kwa mujibu wa his comment. This is what happens when you go to places you don't belong. Hiki ndicho ambacho hutokea ukienda sehemu ambazo wewe sio wa pale. Exactly what he get. Megan wasn't lying. Megan hakuwa na danganya. Didn't have no business there anyway. Sure. Standing there like Mr. King, Mr. King. When will you learn? We are embarrassing without knowledge of history. Chill. And, they, and then he reaching over for the handshake. Stand up my G. So Megan Mark wasn't lying. Chill. So comments nyingi sana kutoka kwa uh, kwenye hii hapa post ya hawa jamaa wanaitwa The Neighborhood Talk. Kusiana na post ya Blackman, you are on your own. 
Okay, sasa huku tukirudi kwa Boba Keng Ramabodu mwenyewe. Kuna mijadala mingine vile vile ambayo watu wame raise pia. Kwa mfano, wakasema kama ni kumhisi kwamba Farmer Chauv ni mbaguzi, hebu sisi tujione wenyewe vile vile tunajitreat vipi. So ameweka hii hapa video ya Rais Ramaphosa wa South Africa akisalimiana na wageni hawa baada kushuka. Then angalia kile ambacho alikifanya hapa. Ameanza ameshuka na akaanza kusalimia hawa. Salimia mzungu huyo hapo vizuri kabisa. Vipi karibu mshimiwa jisikie uko nyumbani. Salimia mzungu mwingine hapa karibu jisikie uko sawa. Maongezi hapo mwili matatu anakwenda kwa huyu Mwafrika na mpita mshiki mkono na msalimia tu kwa ishara vipi safi poa eh nini okay sawa so, then anakwenda kwa watu wengine hapa anakwenda kwa mzungu amemsalimia kwa kumpa handshake okay so watu wana tafsiri kwamba hata sisi vile vile huwa inatokea hivi kwamba hatujijali hilo moja lakini ukienda chini huku utakutana na mtu mwingine ambaye ameweka video inayomtekiasi mfalme Charles. Video hii hapa ambayo ameandika why didn't you let the video get to this point? Kwa nini ukutaka hii video ifike hapa? So mfalme Charles anasalimia na watu kampa huyo black mkono, anasalimia na watu wote hapa na kama ambavyo unaona. Kwa hiyo hii ni kama inamtetea kwamba si kwamba na hawapendi wa Afrika au nini labda ilitokea tu akagafilika wanasema uh, lakini sio haikuwa ni yake sababu hapa amemsalimia huyu mausi well huo ni utetezi tu lakini kiukweli hii hapa video ina trend sana kwa sasa hivi mtandaoni na watu wanaitafsiri kama vile ni ubaguzi kwa maana ya kwamba kwa nini mfalme hakumpa mkono huyu Mwafrika au mtu mausi kama alivyo hapa wawe watu wengine au sio ni kama vile aliukwepa ule mkono alafu katika kuona kwamba amempita akawa amemshika tu kwa mkono wake kushoto lakini akifanya handshake kama ambavyo amefanya na wengine niambie katika comment mtazamo wako ni upi je yeah. hivi ndivyo ambavyo wewe unadhani pia kwamba kambagua huyu jamaa aliyekuwa amesimama hapa ama ni tafsiri tu ambayo ni tofauti na ukweli ulivyo. Tupia komenti yako na subscribe ili kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi.